Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 47th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. To start off, I want to talk about the most exciting news that's happened in the jailbreak community. Now, the other day during Migrate Fest, which was the first major jailbreak convention, POSIX Ninja, a major member of the Chronic Dev team, actually announced that they have found not one, but five userland exploits that will work on the iPad 2 and they think will work on the iPhone 5. And they think it will work on the iPhone 5 because it's rumored to have an A5 processor. And in addition to that, the exploits that they discovered are userland exploits and not hardware-based exploits. So with that said, userland exploits are more flexible than hardware exploits and they allow for an untethered jailbreak. But the disadvantage to using a userland exploit is Apple can easily patch it. So an example of a userland exploit that's in use right now would be Comex's Jailbreak Me. And an example of a hardware exploit would be the current version of Red Snow because it takes advantage of GeoHot's Lime Rain exploit, which again would be a hardware exploit. And the only way for Apple to actually patch a hardware exploit is to release a completely new iDevice. But they did say that they would actually need to get their hands on an iPhone 5 unit to make sure that it would work. And they would only need one exploit per firmware for the iPad 2 and the iPhone 5 basically. And I was getting a lot of questions the other day about whether or not Apple will be able to patch these exploits because they announced that they have found them. And the answer to that question is no, because it would be extremely hard to pinpoint the exact exact exploit that they are talking about. And along the same lines, Muscle Nerd announced the other day that they would be releasing a new version of Red Snow that allows users to jailbreak in basically one click. And he also said that you won't have to browse for your specific firmware anymore to actually use Red Snow. And they released that version early this morning and I actually made a video tutorial on it showing you guys how to use it to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And it's a tethered jailbreak. And and that brings me to my next point. A lot of people have been asking me when an untethered jailbreak will be released for 4.3.5 and the answer is never. The dev team is holding out until iOS 5 is released and as I mentioned before the chronic dev team did find five user land exploits so they pretty much have us covered as far as untethered jailbreaks go. Moving on the Cyanogen mod team has made significant progress on their Android port for touchpad. They released a video of it demoing that they have now fixed issues with Wi-Fi, accelerometer and sound components. So again, we are getting really close to the first ever public release of a dual boot Android port for the HP touchpad. And I have their video demonstration embedded on one of my posts, and I'll have that down below in the more info for you guys. Moving on to some rather interesting news. Yesterday, the CEO of Netflix, Reed Hastings, actually announced that they will be separating from the DVD business altogether, and they will create a new company called Quickster. And Quickster will specialize in DVDs by mail, and the CEO of Quickster will be the current head of DVD operations at Netflix. And even though Netflix has already split the two costs between their DVD and streaming services, in the next couple of weeks there will be two separate websites and there will be two separate charges on their customers' credit cards if they decide to use both of the services. And in addition to that, Quickster will also offer video game rentals, but other than that, there won't really be any difference between what's happening now and what will happen when Quickster launches. Moving back to Apple-related news and rumors, yesterday there was a post on Apple's developer boards that said that Apple will be resetting their iCloud backup data on Thursday, September 22nd, and basically it will just affect users who have access to the iCloud beta that try and actually backup or restore from an iCloud backup. It will just give them an error message and they can try again later and it will work. It won't affect anybody who has backed up to iCloud previously and who has their backup stored on iCloud. And basically it's just a final reset. And a lot of people believe that iOS 5 GM or Goldmaster Edition will be released on or around the 22nd of this month because of this iCloud reset. Also, a white iPhone 4S did appear in what's supposedly one of AT&T's inventory databases. However, there are a few things that are off about it, such as the S in 4S being lowercase. It doesn't show the capacity of the device, and there are a few other things. So you guys can check that out and let me know what you guys think on that post. And finally, to wrap things up, an image of alleged iPhone 5 parts was posted on a Chinese Twitter wannabe website, and supposedly it shows off 
off an A5 processor with a bigger battery. So there are a couple things that are wrong with this picture. To start off, actual pictures of an A5 processor have sort of a white apple with white writing on it, and the A5 on it is white too. But in this picture, it's black. So that's just one of the things that's wrong with it. So you guys can check it out. And you can also let me know what you think on that post in the comment section. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to rate it up if you did and hit that subscribe button. Also, I just wanted to mention that the 50th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors is coming up here pretty soon, and I will be doing something special for that. So just remember to stay tuned. Also, I have made dozens of updates to my website over the past couple of days, including numerous performance updates, and the site should load faster for you guys. And I also implemented some really great aesthetic updates too. So again, just be sure to check that out. And I will have links to everything I talked about in today's episode down below in the more info, as well as links to my Twitter accounts and my Facebook fan page. Be sure to follow my Twitter accounts and like my Facebook fan page to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.